Alan Smith is with me. I'm Martin Tyler. Delighted to have your company for this match today. We've got Scunthorpe United for you against Berry. And it's Berry today that we're really focusing on. Alan, how about Berry's chances in this game? Great stuff from this side this season. They've uh, surprised many people. Punching above the weight, you could argue. The difficult thing now is carrying it through right until the end. Well, they come here, the visitors, with this wonderful defensive record. Actually, it is the best defensive record in the division. Well, they've got some good individuals at the back, and they've also got great understanding across that back line. The line up for the home side. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Four, four, yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. This is how the visitors will line up today. 4-4-2, four, four, but a diamond shape is how he's gone, particularly during matches. It may be that he's going to start with a diamond today. Yeah, but I've seen this manager so often switch formations. He's going to try his luck. And he's volleyed it in. He's one of these lads, I think, that he's confident on the volley. And he showed it there, didn't he? Look at this again, the most venomous of volleys. Well, one for the scrapbook, this, he won't score many better. Let's have another peek at that goal. Oh, look at the manager, he works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. And the ball knocked away long. But could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. It's a good cross, and they get it away. Novak saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Great ball, trying to run off the shoulder of the last player, offside. That is a weakness in his game, gets caught offside too many times. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. Got a man out wide. Throw in here. He's just dropped back in the striker there to get the ball in midfield. Please make yourself known to the nearest two. Thank you. back the interceptor got it for them he's given it away closed him down well the cross doesn't come in good defending well the wide man can show his skills here goal kick to come and in the news because speculation about him finishing his career. I mean, only he knows when it's right, he might be feeling his body. But, you know, you need to think long and hard before making such a, a big decision.
Well read by the defender. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Shot on! Well, they might not be rushing to take the corner. The, a goal to the good, of course. In goes the corner. Played away, well away from goal. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. And now the shot! Oh, what a touch by the defender. He was so quick to get into position, to get his body in the way there. Novak. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Ball goes out of play here quite clearly. Uh, an attempted pass, but not a good one. James Perch. <laughs> Two ooze around the uh, crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. He's got his shot off now. What a chance to get level, and they press again. Well, if they continue playing like this, they will get more chances, will get better chances than that, I think. And that's half-time, signalled by the referee, 1-0 the half-time score. Just one goal at half-time, and it came early in this first half. Yeah, as, uh, as a team, you set out to keep a clean sheet, and that went out the window early doors, and it affected that side that's now down. Whistle from the referee, and we're off and running again for the second half. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. They've opened them up here. Well, here's a chance to show how good they are at corners and maybe increase their advantage. He's put in the corner. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. Being closed down here. Now Morris. Well, that's over the top of the defender and one to chase. And the offside stops the play. Flag went up. Referee blue. Yeah, an easy one for the linesman that. Clearly offside. unlike him really to play the ball straight to the opposition the defenders managed to get in the way there excellent interception and here's the shot good block and he can clear it here bit of space for him now out on the wing in on the goalkeeper in towards the near post. Badly time tackle. He'll be booked for that. Well, that's a yellow card. Yeah, I don't think there's any choice there from the ref. Substitution for Scunthorpe United coming off the pitch. Well, this will be interesting. Changes now for both teams. This that tends to put a bit of whip on these three kicks. Needs it here. Really whip that in. And it's a shot now. Good work by the goalkeeper.
Great interception. In powerfully there. Horsefield. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. And shoots! And that is the goal that puts them level. And there was a gap to the keeper's left, and he found that with real power. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Uh, level both sides have scored here now and 20 minutes to go I think the wide man's got a chance here there's space out near the touchline Room now out on the wing. Clever feet there to go inside his man. And now the shot! Well, that's gone behind. It'll be a corner. Corner played in. Good defensive clearance there. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. He's got his shot off now. Oh, he's way off target. Is this going to end level or are we going to get a winner in the closing minutes? Be tough for any team to lose this, but what a win it would be if there is a successful side. It's such a close game. Well, it wasn't a very close effort, was it? No, as the clock ticks on, I think that the pressure got to him, really, and he just made the wrong choice. Seven minutes to go. Tight against the touchline, it pretty clear that it was going to end up with a throw in. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. Probing with the pass. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. Real chance now, and he's done it. Well, he's only been on the pitch a matter of minutes. I'm not sure he's touched the ball before this, but a vital touch there to score. Excellent for his team, easy for him. Well, he's, he's laughing and joking about it because it was perhaps the easiest goal he's ever scored in his career. Well, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. We had seemed to be stuck in a, a bit of a stalemate, in truth, but this very, very late goal has changed that. Well, they threw men forward and they've got the reward. The two who's around the uh, crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. Excellent interception. Pressing forward with an equaliser in mind. And the referee has brought a halt to it. That's full time. So they've won again, that could put them in an even better position. They're going to challenge Alan, I think. I think they might be a surprise package here. I don't think too many predicting glory for them at the end of this season, but they're heading in the right direction.
Well, it's action from the FA Cup, the Emirates FA Cup, as we must rightly call it now. And it's a very special competition, Alan. It's been very good to you. It has, and uh, there's always a buzz when players come into this competition, and there's a buzz around this ground too. Doncaster Rovers in our featured game today against Berry. His last season in the game, possibly. And once you, your reaction slow down, I mean, it's such an integral part of the, the position, and uh, he feels maybe that he's not what he was. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. And as for the opposition, this is their starting 11. Well, it's 4 4 2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the fullbacks to provide the width in this shape. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Ball on the centre spot, and that tingle of excitement that comes with the FA Cup. It is special, and every player want to get an early touch, settle themselves down. Good screening, and he's kept the ball. Came in with the challenge, and the ball broke free. Well, he's got away from him. And now the shot! And the keeper can catch that one, no, no problem at all. Probing pass. Real chance. Well, they managed to get out of harm's way then because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. Nicky Maynard. Stokes. Going forward well. To put them in front. Shot. The shot's hit the post. Safety first there. And this is going to be a throw. So close, inches away. But they are playing well. I fancy him to get another chance and uh, get the noses in front here. Alan McAnally wants to join us now. He's got a goal to tell us about. It's a goal for Plymouth Argyle. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. And shoots! A real miscue here. Here's Blair. Poor on the ball. They might have played him in here. A great chance to go in front. And they have done. Oh, that could be a big goal, because this side knows how to defend a lead. Well, you get a lot of satisfaction as a goal-scoring forward for knocking one in from that distance. You know you're in the right place. No, it was a poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there it took a little bit of instinct. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. his game isn't it intercepting room now out of the wing gets his cross in not really away from the threat here well he was in the right place at the right time to cut it out 
looking for a through ball. The shot's on. Out in front of goal. And he's hung on to the ball too. Brilliant goalkeeping. Alan McAnally is our man watching elsewhere. Alan, what have you got to tell us? It's a goal for the home team. 29 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Treads it through. It could be a chance. Save. Coming up now, a corner. That's a fine shot, an even better save. Yeah, he would have been disappointed to get beaten, but nevertheless had to keep his eye on the ball. Corner played in. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Shots on here. So the save made by the goalkeeper. Goal news now from Clever Ball. Put in a good cross and the responsibility for his teammates to get there, they didn't. And now the shot! Oh, he's way off target. Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Here's Thompson. Adams. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Just lost their way in the final moments of that attack. Well, that's half time at 1-0. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? He was a real menace for the opposition in that first half. Got himself a goal, hit the woodwork. They couldn't contain him. And the fact his team are ahead is even better news. Players have had their chance to assess what the first half brought for them. The start now of the second half of this game in the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, interesting to uh, know what the two managers would have said in those half-time dressing rooms, but I'm expecting a, a really good clash here. News of a goal from Bolton, Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Bolton Wanderers. 48 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. So we'll restart with a throw-in. Adams. It's a good place to win the ball here. And that will end the threat, at least for the moment. Goal news from Millwall. It's a second goal for Millwall. 54 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Untidy work. Room now out of the wing. Guided through. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Goalkeeper opts to punch. And here's the shot. Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper.
Alan McAnally wants to join us now. He's got a goal to tell us about. It's a second goal for the home team. 63 minutes played, 2-1. Well, oh, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. That's Phil Jones. That's Phil Jones. Please contact your nearest steward. Thank you. to try and hit it now and the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp a bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that Adams goal news involving slip through he's had a go here well he's in the clip now the shot one in front they would be a lot more comfortable if they were two in front and they really could have been yeah might they look back on that with a bit of regret because that was a great chance to extend the lead wasn't it well this is one way of protecting the lead really that's what the manager thinks anyway making this tactical change just over quarter of an hour left on my watch well the wide man can show his skills here They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Referee says play on. Now, it wasn't a good tackle, without any doubt, but the worst thing... Oh, that's such a classy goal. And that could just pull them away to make sure of the victory. That is a great goal of its type. Perhaps don't see as many as we used to of it, but the cross made the header so possible yeah it is still one of the, the best sights in football and I think supporters enjoy it spectacular header well it's great when a plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing just widen the Margin here to 2 0. And on the clock, eight more Nicky minutes. Maynard. Goal news from Rochdale. It's a second goal for Rochdale. Six minutes remain. 2 2. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. Whipped in from the wide area. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. All about picking the right pass now as he cuts it back. The Two minutes of added time. That's what it says on the board. Threading it through. There we are, the final whistle is gone and the game is over. And it has finished at 2-0. The confirmation then of their success in this cup tie today. Well, they sailed close to the wind once or twice. Some good saves from the keeper, but I think they just about deserve this win. Well, I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Yeah, I mean, we thought he might be the danger man out there, Martin, didn't we? And that's how it turned out. Probably the difference between the two teams.